<laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, hi. We are working on this lovely lady. My cat's sleeping on the floor. So, I'm like having a lot of trouble today, uh, like getting in the mood to paint. Uh, I was very excited yesterday, and I think it's because it, like it was the hype of finishing my painting. Um, that got me like really jazzed. Ooh. But now I'm like looking at this guy, and it feels overwhelming again because I feel like there's a lot of work to do left. But in reality, there's not much. It's like this part up here, her face, uh, his face, this one piece that looks like that, and his hand. And this, I guess it's the sword thing that he has. And then I'll be done with it, so. I'm like trying to remember how I made these colors. That's another, another fun, fun aspect. Also this, this took me a long time, believe it or not, because I did all of that freehand and I have to kind of match it on this side now. So that'll be fun. Hey. But I do, before any of that, I have to clean off my palette. So, yes. I'm trying to decide if I want to record myself doing that. Do you guys want to be a little closer? Should I move you guys a little closer for that time lapse so you can watch me? I am drinking a brew beer. I normally, I normally don't drink soda anymore. I just drink water or like iced tea unsweetened. And I didn't make my smoothie yet. But I had coffee, then I had a soda, which is probably not good. Maybe that's why I'm so jittery and I don't want to paint. Now that I think about it. Shh, don't say anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna big painting. <laughs> I wanna also, I still have to straighten my hair, so if I come back on later, my hair straightened. Um, I'm gonna strain my hair, take some photos with the snake painting, hopefully outside. We're in a, like a bright room. Take some pictures of the painting itself, take some with me with it. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I wish that I didn't have to work on this. Do you ever like, you have a project that you worked on like when you were a kid or like, from like a different period in your life and then you have to go back and revisit it and you're like looking at it you're like you you remember all the times like like I guess you're meant you remember what you were doing mentally and where you were at and just, maybe that's why it's such a turn off because like I don't want to slip back into that mindset but I know I'm not going to but it's always like then again maybe I overthink everything Anyway, so I should probably get started. Okay, bye. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I know I said I was gonna work on the big, big boy. But I just want to double confirm with my brother-in-law that he still wants it before moving forward. He wanted this six years ago. I don't know if he still really wants it. Um, plus, he also moved like far away, so it'd be a lot to ship it. So in the meantime, I'm going to prep this canvas because I want to paint these cute little cupcakes that I got from this. Um, it's called the Long Island Cookie Shop in Long Island. They make the best tart cakes. They're super cute. I've had a bunch of them now for birthdays and little sprinkles and Valentine's Day, like they're just, they're so good. So they're just the cutest little cupcakes, so I think I'm gonna paint them for like one, two, three, four. Um, it's mostly a muted pastel color. And yeah, I think that's how we're gonna roll it today. Uh, and then I think I'm going to call it quits after that. I have to do some editing. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll kind of mark out where they go, but I'm not like super into painting today. I am glad that I forced myself to clean off my palette and I did lay out my new paints. And I'm happy that I made myself come up here and actually do something, but I'm feeling very anti-painting that right now. I think it's like how I felt in the beginning of doing the snake painting, like I was procrastinating so much. So I think to get myself over that little hump of like, I just finished something that I really love and now I'm doing this other big painting and I don't want to mess it up. I'm just going to kind of put some paint here, mush it around, get back into the swing of painting and then I'll move it over and do that. We'll see. We'll see how I feel once I get rolled, you know? Sometimes that's what you need. Okay, so I did some stuff. Doesn't look like I did a lot, but um, the, the thin layer of paint that I put on, you could still kind of see the underpainting, and I don't like how like lack of contrast I made this like background thing. So I, for some reason, I am avoiding putting more colors down until like I guess morning time when I'm more awake and really into it. I'm just glad I did something because now that I have stuff like unfinished, it feels not that I didn't have stuff unfinished, but now that I have stuff new that is unfinished, I feel like I can touch it more. For example, I you know everyone has issues. I don't know what to tell you. Tell you. Um, but I did her jacket. I fixed that up a bit. I put her other shoulder in. Uh, add the little goggle thing that I have to go back and fix. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this thing tomorrow. I may leave her face to dry. Like her jacket to dry before going back and doing her face. And switching and trying to do maybe like his hand and the nails. Uh, nails. Nails. Um, <laughs> You know, finishing some of that other stuff up there. But I got the confirmation, obviously. He still wants it. You know, you just want to double check. It's been six years. <laughs> hey, do you still want this painting? <laughs> Whatever. I, I am definitely going to be happy when I stop getting made fun of for, like, having it for forever. They, every time I bring up this painting or I talk about my brother-in-law, like the family or whatever, they're like, hey, did you ever finish that painting for him? Like, whatever happened to it? 
this is what happened to it. I'm finishing it this month. So I am hoping to finish it in the next like two weeks. Like I want to finish it. In, actually, it's not even March yet, and I'm working on it. My goal was to finish the snake painting by the end of February, and honestly, I thought I wasn't gonna finish it until like mid March, but I did it. And I did it early. So now I want to finish this one, finish it in two weeks, and send it to him because he lives far away and his birthday is in April, so <laughs> it'll be a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely want to get, get it out of my house. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at the space where it used to be, and I'm like, wow, that's what the rest of the wall looks like. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not like a big, like, fan art person, like, if that's what I really want to do. This was really cool to do, like, the, the fact that people can recognize these characters, and go, oh, that's so cool. I get it. But... I don't know if it's just like my my thing. So I'm learning this year that what like I'm trying to figure out what I want to do moving forward in business. Like what makes me happy, what brings me joy. Like there's obviously gonna be things that I'm gonna have to paint that maybe don't bring me the most joy, but they pay the bills. You know what I mean? So I am trying to find that lovely balance where I can paint the things that I love and make money from them. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm trying to convince my husband to let me paint a mural down in our basement where his office slash man cave is. And he loves video games, he loves anime, but he's been, and he watches my videos, so he's gonna hear this. Um, he's been putting it off for over a year. So I have made some ideas up, and if he doesn't decide, like in the next few days, once I finish this painting, I'm just gonna go downstairs and paint. Because it's our house. This is the best type of like mural practice that I can do, because it's our house. I can paint it, and if we don't like it, I can just paint over it, and like, there's no like sad tears. There might be some sad tears, but like, because <laughs> I cry at everything. But it won't be like the end of the world because it's just paint, paint over it. And it's not like, oh my god, I disappointed a customer. The most is like, I disappointed my husband. Would, he's gonna be like, oh, I can't show my face on my meetings or work, I don't know. He'd just be like, oh babe, can we just like paint over it? He wouldn't even be sad. I don't even think he would be sad. But I'm very excited. And I have like two other ideas. Like, I wanna get up. I've done three murals, three murals. The third mural, they asked me back to do more stuff. I've done three murals now, and I want to do more, but I want more practice. So that's why I'm using my home as a, like, a test subject. <laughs> because I can always paint over it. I mean, I've done, okay, I've done three for other customers, plus two that I've done for myself. Technically three, because I painted my stairs, painted my, my lovely um, rainbow and cloud and then I also painted um, a, like a wall it's like part of my kitchen but not really it's on my website but anyway I have a wonderful day wonderful creative do the darn thing kind of a day Yay, let's do it. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.